Hey there, welcome to my channel where I take you on tours of tiny and alternative homes. Today we're going to meet a young couple with a fantastic adventurous spirit and take a tour of their cleverly designed van conversion, which includes a super cool hidden shower that I think is going to make your jaw drop. But before we get started, make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know every single time I publish a new tour. Hi, I'm Nate. Ik ben Maud. I'm Maud. Welkom in ons huis. Welcome to our home. Jenny. Jenny. I decided to go to Thailand. So I booked uh, my one-way ticket to Thailand. I arrived in Koh Phangan and there was the full moon party. I was dancing and filming around me and I was looking around <laughs> and suddenly I heard this guy in my frames and I was like, I love his energy. We started hanging out, we started traveling together and after 10 days we pretty much said we'd fallen in love. I booked a ticket to Holland for 90 days as long as my visa would allow and came over to visit her. After 90 days, we had a very sad goodbye. He went back to America. And seven weeks later, I had my ticket to America and for two week vacation. And then COVID happened. Yeah. Two weeks turned into four weeks and then six weeks and then three months. And then we had to call a lawyer because that was her visa max. And he's like, well, you guys have two options. You can uh, either go home and we probably would never see each other again, or you guys can get married. And we were just like, Huh. <laughs> right after we got married, we decided to travel around in the back of my Toyota Tundra. We met so many people who were living on the roads in vans, in trucks, and seeing how they are living, we were like, we want to have a van one oh, day. Yeah. First van we saw was the van that we're sitting in right now. We moved back to my childhood home, built this van in the driveway, and I mean, it was quite an experience to say the least. We did it in three months. Yeah. That was the most challenging thing I think I have ever done. Oh yeah. But so fun. It's like, it comes with ups and downs for sure. We definitely enjoyed building. Welcome to the outside of Jetty. This is our 2018 Ford Transit cargo van. She is 148 inch wheelbase, 23 feet long, high roof extended 350 with a 3.5 liter turbo boost engine. I definitely recommend if you're looking at a Transit, this is the way to go. You get way more pickup. The torque is way better. It's rear wheel drive, so it's got better traction, especially in bad weather conditions. It's great for pretty much any season and any terrain. So we went with a dually. We thought this would be great just because we knew we were gonna be carrying a lot of weight all the time. I will say it's great for having a little bit of extra traction. Some of the things we didn't think about though was if you're trying to change your tire, it's definitely harder with a dually. If we did it again, we'd probably go with just the standard four tire van. Uh, all of our friends seem to have that and it works out great, especially on the all-terrain. So up on the roof, we have three 175 watt solar panels for a total of 525 watts of power. Outside, we've got two slider windows right in the back. They're right at our bed level, so it's amazing. You'd be surprised. People ask us about air conditioning all the time. You don't even need it. You open these two up, you get this great cross breeze, and you turn on your max air fan, and it just sucks air through the entire van the entire time. It's like having an air conditioner right on your face. Welcome to the garage part of the van. This is where all of the systems live. It's where the heart of the van is, where we get everything done, and where we store all of our toys. One of the things you'll definitely notice is we've tried to make use of as much of the space as possible. The doors have become our shoe storage, little pockets for everything that we would need. Super convenient to have everything stored on the doors there. On the inside, we've tried to prioritize everything based on how far we can reach into the garage and grab stuff that we need. This box here, we've got propane inside the van. We've also got 
300 amp hours of electrical lithium ion batteries, as well as a 30 gallon fresh water tank. Uh, all of that stuff is stored on the left and right sides. And we also have a door on the inside so that we can grab stuff, sort of uh, things like our laptop bags or stuff we wanna just pack away really quick. One of the big improvements we made to our garage after we finished our build was we decided we would strap a lot of stuff to the bottom of the bed. It gave us a ton more access to everything on the ground floor. We made great use of this with just elastic bands and hooks. It's a super easy add and it's great to have everything organized. Hello, come in. Come check out the inside. Welcome to the inside of Jetty. Our main goal for our van was it to be like open and white. I love white and it gives me a really homey feeling. This house feels peaceful for me. The white and the wood colors and the light blue accent. For the kitchen, we wanted to have a, like a big countertop so we have enough space to cook and clean and cut our vegetables and stuff. Also, we have a very deep sink so before we had a glass stove top and we did a lot of art folding and because of the vibration it was in million pieces of glass so we needed to change and now we have transitioned to a two burner stove top. So this is our spice rack and we love those because it's just a magnet we had to install and in all those lids there's a magnet so it just connects to it and we never have to get it off and we are driving and it's just super convenient to cook and have all your spices here. When people coming in our van, we get a lot of compliments about this. It's a cool addition to our kitchen. We have a dramatic fridge and there fits a lot of food in there. One of my favorite things in this is that we have a freezer apartment and ice on the road is definitely a delicacy. So this is our shower. It's hidden in our countertop and we chose to do a foldable shower because we were thinking we only shower five minutes a day and for us it doesn't make really sense to give up 20% of your space. So you fold this open, then here is our bathroom too. So if you're showering we put out the toilet and we hang up our shower curtain in those hooks we installed here. The shower head goes here and we can shower. Overall, this takes up about five minutes of my time and after a long hike, we just jump right in and get a hot shower. The only thing is you do still give up a lot of storage space, but definitely worth it. This lagoon table we build ourselves. It's a great move because we love to have it like uh, go to the swivel seat and get it here and even go outside. So it's very functional. We love to sit here, have dinner together. It's great for two persons. This bench is great. Next to the sliding door, we can sit here and work. Nate sits here all day and work and have his laptop here and his iPad here on the clip. I still work in finance. I manage a hedge fund. We focus on cryptocurrency, so it keeps me busy 24 hours a day. But it's super nice that I get to work remote. And we both work side by side in the van for eight hours and the time flies by. I am doing content creation for a brand, Fanning Wilder. It took some time to build, to build the brand out. But yeah, I love to do it. I did it first for festivals yeah. and now I do it for ourselves. We love to have a lot of stories. One thing what we would do differently is to make those cabinets smaller because we feel a little bit cramped with this kind of size. One of my favorite things about this van is the ceiling. We installed on a groove and I made it like a whitewash on it. So I think it's kind of special and it turned out great. I just had like two cups of paint and one cup of water, mixed that, painted it with a brush. Installing this ceiling was actually, I think, one of the hardest thing we did in the van because the Ford Transit roof is like slanted and curved and it's very hard to get them all like clicked in together. It took us hours, way longer than we expected it to be. One of the things we have to think about when we were building this is that we can't sleep side to side because we're both are over 5'10", so we had to sleep long ways. The bed is great because we can just lay here and watch out of the windows or watch outside and have the back doors open and it feels always really great. When we are reading our books here, we love to also turn on these lights as also a USB port so we can also charge our phones.
we will not stop anytime soon. We would yeah. love to do this for years. We want to spend time in Europe and America so we can be near both of our families. Having a van in both of those places eventually is part of our plan. So figure it all out again in the <laughs> yeah. metric system. To do what you love obviously is like the biggest, the gift you can give yourself. And we always feel very fortunate to live this life on the road. It's just so magical. We'll always have a van in our life now. Thanks for watching this week's video. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you soon with another tiny or alternative home.